Hello, let us see what happens when you hit copper 2 sulfate crystals. Uh, let us see what will happen when we hit copper 2 sulfate crystals. So you notice that copper 2 sulfate crystals are blue in color because they contain what we call water of crystallization. The water of crystallization also gives them shape. So let us see what happens when you hit them. So we are hitting them of course so that we can see what will happen eventually after the whole process has taken place. So we are hitting our copper 2 sulfate crystals then I'm trying to turn them so that the heat can be able to reach all the parts. And so as you hit you notice that the color is already changing from blue to white. So actually what is happening is that our crystals are losing the water off crystallization so we keep on heating them and see what will happen good so you can notice that our crystals are changing from blue to white let me just maybe mix them a little bit so that they heat can reach all the parts and remember when heating always use the non-luminous flame because it is very hot then it does not produce soot so we're heating our copper 2 sulfate crystals to see what will be the eventual observation So keep on heating the copper 2 sulfate crystals and see what will happen. As you notice, they are changing from blue to white. And then apart from that, it's no longer crystals. If you notice clearly, in right now we are forming what we call a powder. A solid is changing into a powder form. So you can notice that our solid is changing, it's becoming white. I'm trying to mix it a little bit so that the heat can reach all the parts of the solid. Good. So the solid is losing the water of crystallization. Our copper 2 sulfate crystals have lost their water of crystallization, they're forming a white powder. So the white powder that is being formed is what we call anhydrous copper 2 sulfate which means now the solid does not contain water of crystallization and apart from that you notice now they are no longer crystals let us see what happens when you add water to our anhydrous copper 2 sulfate that was formed so let us see what happens when you add water so you notice the anhydrous copper 2 sulfate is white in color so when you add water let us see what happens when you add water it goes back to the blue color so again it forms what we call hydrated copper 2 sulfate which is blue in color the process also generates heat so this is an example of a temporary chemical change and there we have it we have recovered back our hydrated copper 2 sulfate